Hi, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 1st to the 7th of August. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Gemini, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Gemini, your challenge for this coming week in August, first week of August, is the Five of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So your challenge here, uh, Gemini, has a lot to do with some sort of situation surrounding possibly abandonment, okay? There's something here about feeling abandoned or, you know, um, maybe sensing that something here is not for you anymore. It doesn't hold any more value. It doesn't have any more interest for you. We're going to clarify and see why the five of pentacles is your challenge in a moment. Now in the recent past Gemini, you have the eight of swords in reverse. You have the eight of cups upright and the sun upright. So I feel like in the recent past, there's something here about you finally releasing yourself from something. There's something here in the past that I feel kept you feeling restricted. It kept you feeling like you were constantly isolated or on your own. I feel like that changed here in the past because you either walked away emotionally from something, okay? Something here that just was not serving you anymore. And it really brought you a lot of happiness to completely release yourself from the situation, okay? It was a situation that made you feel like you were, um, confined, you know, so you release yourself here from something in the past. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now in the present moment, you have the page of wands, the 10 of wands and the hermit. So it looks like in the present moment, there's something here, Gemini, about you being open to a new beginning or open to a new direction. I feel like you're making some sort of plans. You're preparing yourself to move into some sort of new direction. In the present moment, you have the 10 of wands. So this is indicating to me with the 10 of wands that that some sort of situation in your life that's been very difficult is finally coming to an end. Or you may be sitting presently in the moment trying to figure out what your path is and this may have a lot to do with you ending something or accepting something here that is coming to an end. In the near future, you have the King of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Four of Wands. So I feel with the Chariot, you are going to be moving forward. Uh, whatever you are moving towards in the near future, it looks like it's going to bring you a lot of stability. You have the Four of Wands here, so there could be a relationship that's coming in for you uh, in the near future. And you also have the King of Pentacles, which is a beautiful energy. This is someone here who knows what they want in the near future. Now, this this could be you, okay? But I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is someone who is coming in to offer you love, okay? Offer you maybe an opportunity. There's something here about you finally moving forward, okay? In the near future towards something that is for you. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that something here is gonna happen very quickly. And it has a lot to do with a specific person that may be offering you um, some sort of opportunity. Okay. So let's get into your reading Gemini and let's see what is going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. So 
the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Wands. You have the Three of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So your biggest challenge here for the first week of August, Gemini, has a lot to do with a possible reconciliation. Now, I have been seeing reconciliations for you now for the past few readings that I've done for you. And I feel like this reconciliation that is happening for you, to some extent, you may find it hard to be in a relationship with this person, but you may equally find it hard to let go of them. So there's something here about still wanting to be in a relationship with this person or still being connected to this person. But at the same time, you may not feel like this person can give you the support that you need. OK, so there's some there's kind of like a push and pull energy here. The first week of August, it's like reconciliations there. There's a possibility for that. But then at the same time, you you're you're still uncertain about this person. But at the same time, it's also hard to let them go. OK, so there's something here that you need to be prepared for when it comes to a possible reconciliation and then ultimately maybe making a decision about it. OK, and that may be really hard for you to do. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands in the recent past. So the Eight of, excuse me, the Eight of Cups. I said the Eight of Wands. Eight of Cups in the recent past uh, is clarified by the Hermit, the Strength, and the Three of Wands. So yeah, there's something here in the past that you wanted to free yourself from. I do feel like you were in your head in the past a lot about this situation. There's something here, Gemini, about you wanting to move to the next level in your life. You know, being bored and wanting to move towards something else here that, that may have brought you the happiness that you seek. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords in the recent past. Eight of Swords in Reverse is clarified by the Sun, the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. So in the recent past, there's something here about you still having love for someone, but that, but at the same time, even though you still had love for this person, Gemini, there's something here about you creating boundaries or you kind of pushing this person away. And it's not telling me why you push this person away. You have your own personal reasons as to why maybe you disconnected, but ultimately I feel like your happiness was really important to you in the past. And if this person was making you feel restricted or making you feel like you weren't happy, okay, or they weren't giving you the emotional satisfaction you were looking for, that may have been the reason why you decided to completely disconnect from this person or set some sort of boundaries, okay? So that's what I'm seeing happened in the past. Now, in the present moment, you've been in your head for quite some time about some sort of ending. Uh, it has been kind of swirling in your mind for quite some time and you may be at a point right now, Gemini, where you may need to make a decision about this new direction that you want to take. There's some sort of new beginning or new direction. But let's clarify the Hermit first and let's see what the important message is. Some of you are trying to figure out what your path is in life. Like, what's your purpose? Why are you here? Um, how can you move on from a painful ending that recently happened? So the Hermit is clarified by the Seven of Swords. You have the King of Swords and the Moon. So in the present moment, I feel you may have gone through something very difficult. And in the present moment, it's now just coming to your realization right now. There's something here, Gemini, about trust issues and you kind of getting in touch with your emotions, inner emotions. I don't think you've had time to do this, but in the present moment, that may be something that you are doing right now. And again, the reason why you may be going through this is because of some sort of ending. It's kind of like this ending has forced you into thinking about what you trust, what you don't trust. Do you trust your feelings? Do you not trust your feelings? It's almost like you're, you're in this cycle uh, and you're trying to find answers in the present moment. OK, and this is only because something here is coming to an end and it's pushing you into action. Tell me more about this ending in the present moment for Gemini. Something that's been so difficult for you, Gemini, is finally coming to an end. You have the Ten of Swords. Wow, the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you some of you have decided to end things with a specific person that you've been dealing with because this person just leaves you in a place of constantly being confused. You you can't seem to make sense of a direction or the 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 status of your feelings. Is this done? You know, for many of you, you've realized now that it is done. Some of you ended this situation on your own because you, again, wanted to free yourself. So very similar to whatever happened in the past is somewhat happening in the present moment. But this time you are making some sort of plan with the page of wands. Like there's a new direction. 
And the important message for you, Gemini, here is I am always open to good news. So there's something here for you. Even though it may seem difficult to accept something here that's done, it's actually making room for something that you really want. Tell me more about the Page of Wands for Gemini in the present moment. So the Page of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups, the Star, and the Judgment. Yeah, so in the present moment, you're now coming to a realization. Now, I've been saying this before the Judgment even came out. I was intuitively picking it up. So, you know, the Judgment here is all about you coming to some sort of, you know, awakening. You're awakening to something. And I think what you're awakening to, Gemini, is the fact that you know what you want in your future or you're making plans. Uh, a lot of you right now, I feel like there's specific people in your life that could be helping you get to this goal that you have. But a lot of you have also realized as well that part of you being able to have this new beginning, this new direction, these new plans, there's something here about you accepting a situation coming to an end. And one of the things that I can say is that the reason why this situation is coming to an end, Gemini, is because you've now determined it's just not for you. And this started in the past. In the past, you already knew that you wanted to free yourself from this. But most importantly, I think this situation that's coming to an end, it's coming to an end because you, you have some sort of focus in terms of the direction that you want to take. You have goals. And maybe this situation that's coming to an end is not suited for you. Okay, so a lot of you right now in the present moment, I feel like you're planning for the future because of some sort of realization and because of some sort of ending and you're looking for like-minded people to help you do that. Okay, so a lot of meditation I feel like is taking place. A lot of inner work is taking place for you and that's a good thing because it's helping you get back to you. Now in the near future, Gemini, okay, things get very interesting for you. Now that you've taken this leap of faith, there's something here about you taking the leap of faith even though it's been very difficult because your whole entire theme for this reading for the first week of August is you have such high emotions and feelings for someone, but you know that they're not good for you, okay? Or you're very much connected to somebody and you're in a relationship with them now and you can't seem to let them go, but you're afraid that this person might leave you. So there's a lot of these questionings, you know, in the near future. And I think a lot of you need to recognize and realize that. And I was thinking this actually the other day when I was doing my thing. If something is for you, you don't have to chase it. You don't have to force it to be for you. It's just going to naturally be for you. And I think that's really what a lot of you are learning in the near future because you have the chariot here and it says, I go forward with confidence. So you may be in a place right now where you're in the near future, where you know that you have to move forward. You know that that's what you're being called to do. And it's really going to increase your, um, confidence okay because you finally are able to move towards what it is that you want so tell me more about this person that's coming in for gemini the king of pentacles what does gemini need to know about this person okay so i feel some of you that are watching this you either have a strong placement in fire energy so you could be a rising fire sign or you could have a moon fire sign or you may have a stellium astrologically in your chart i do feel you're coming in as the queen of wands in the near future so you're somebody who's just doing your own thing you're focusing on yourself after some sort of ending you become single nine of pentacles you become single in the near future so a lot of you watching this if you've broken up with someone or you're single right now, you're going to be attracting someone who knows what they want. If you've been dealing with somebody from your past that didn't know what they wanted, they were constantly indecisive, they left you in a place of not knowing where, you know, the direction of the relationship, maybe they constantly left you, maybe they ghosted you, whatever, you're moving on. You're moving on from that, Gemini. You're done with that. You're moving on. And you meet somebody here, it looks like in the near future, uh, where this person likes you and they want to make an offer. And you know what? Guess what? This may actually lead to the type of relationship that you're looking for. It says the universe brings all I need to feel blissful. So remember I was saying in the past, you moved away from something or disconnected from something because it just wasn't for you. It didn't make you happy. Whereas in the near future, one thing you're learning, okay, I'm going to explain this to you. Very important. One thing you're learning is when you let go and you stop 
feeling like you need to control things and you need to constantly be on guard, okay, of knowing the next thing that's going to happen. When you start to flow, which I feel like you, you're in an energy here in the near future where you're like, I'm just going to do me. After this ending, I'm going to do me. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to show the universe that I can be on my own and I'm not... I'm not in this energy of, um, you know, feeling insecure. There's something here about being insecure and in the near future, you're like, I'm not insecure, baby. If I, <laughs> if I'm going to have something, it's going to come to me and it's going to come to me because that's what needs to happen. So that's what you're learning in the near future. And that leads you to attracting somebody who actually is going to give you what you actually need. Okay, so let's clarify the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is clarified by the Hangman, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so there's a brand new beginning that's happening for you. A brand new beginning. I hope you're ready for this, Gemini. And you're trying to make sense of this brand new beginning, right? You're like, what is this brand new beginning all about? Even though you finally get what you want and it's exactly what you want, you may not take action towards it because you may be trying to, again, make sense of it. There's something here, Gemini, about you needing to be very careful because when something good finally comes into your life, you start to go, your brain starts to go like this and you got to be careful because if your thoughts are not what you really want, then you may twist the outcome of this. And it looks like a very beautiful outcome because guess what? Guess what? It's happening so quickly for you. It's happening very, very unexpectedly for you. Okay. So let's get some advice. You have the lovers, the seven of swords, and the seven of cups. Before you decide to embark on a relationship, okay, of any kind, a soulmate relationship, karmic relationship, maybe you find this person that you end up being with super attractive. Before you embark on this type of energy, you need to work through some sort of trust issues that you have, okay? And this could be trust issues regarding some sort of past relationship. This could be trust issues regarding maybe someone here who constantly left their options open. Gemini, this is about you working through your fears and your traumas because there's something here intuitively that I'm picking up where once something good starts to happen to you, you start to go into this pessimistic mind frame and this pessimistic mind frame intuitively what they're telling me is is that you need to work through trust issues you need to work through maybe you know um issues that you had with the narcissist i'm also getting seven of cups energy here so there's something here that you are still needing to work through emotionally and mentally and that's what's going to open up the possibilities of you finding love but if you don't work on these things, if you continuously leave these things without treating them, which is negative mind frame, constantly thinking everybody's out to get you, thinking that people are going to take advantage of you, thinking that people are going to date you and then date other people. There's something here about you being confused about love. And it all starts with you, Gemini. If your mind is not clear and your emotions are not worked through, then that may be energy that will affect this relationship that's coming in. So in order to enjoy it to its fullest, there's things that you still need to work through when it comes to your emotions and your, your mind regarding love. Work on these things. Once you work on these things, you're going to free yourself and you're going to be able to attract that love that you're looking for, okay? So Gemini, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.